all right so at this point our seller can add product but while adding there is a shops field which allows them to choose any other shop so we want to restrict that so in order to do that uh, we need to override this edit add file this file that Voyager generates and we need to just hide this shop or just put the shop ID in form itself all right so to do that we have here we can override the Voyager bread files like so so let's jump into code editor go to our resources folder views inside vendor we need to put so we already modified a bit for orders and we have this vendor folder Voyager orders so now let's create inside this Voyager folder we want to create products and we want to we want to edit this edit and add blade for product crowd or bread so let's go and so inside vendor so inside the main root vendor we are copying file from Voyager's source code to our this products folder okay so if you go all the way down inside TCG we have resources views and bread views so we want to edit the bread views this edit and add bread view so we can copy all the content from here and go back to our products folder that we just created and add new file edit add dot blade and paste everything here so by doing this it will overwrite the Voyager file so there is a lot of code over here so just to check uh, we want to let's see inside content let's die dump something uh, let's put something on s1 tag so now if we refresh that uh, new view should kick in there we go so now we have control over this view and we can comment out whatever we want so looks like this is the form and we want to edit this form so it is looping through data type rows and uh, displaying all these rows so let's die down this data type rows and see what is in here So we have five items in array. Let's see what we can do with. So these are the data rows with field type text, field name. Similarly, there should be one with shop ID. Okay, the way we identify that shop is like so. So, we can check this display name is shops okay so let's jump into editor so if we do like so display name sorry we can do it here this is the collection and inside this we are looping through all of these array items these all array items and yeah here displaying everything so we are interested on shops only so this is type of relationship so here if you see for type of relationship it is displaying the relationship related form 
and with options row details. Yeah, so we can change up here for relationship. So what we can do is let's see for now let's disable this and see how it goes. Yeah, so now we are not seeing these shops. Let's type on pro details. So this display name help us to identify whether it is for shops or not. So we'll check here. All right, so I made a change over here. I've added this line. So if a road display name equals to shops, so we are inside relationship. If that is shop and user role is seller, then only we want to just display the shop name. So it will throw error if there is no shop. And just to be sure, be safe. So this will display the shop name for seller and normal form for admin. And also we can put the input hidden field here, I think with name, shop ID, and value. So add product, yeah, like so. Okay, so um, at this point we are good to go. Now if we cannot add product to another shop, yeah, we can uh, add more security layer and check this on on observer while creating or updating. We can do that, but for now it's fine. Now product uh, can be added. Let's see what products we have currently. So we have two product. Let's uh, add new one, new product. There we go, we have a added product. Let's make sure we can edit as well. And there we go. And let's go to the admin and see if admin can manage products like normal. So that shouldn't be reflected on admin's view. Admin can normally assign the shops yeah, there we go. Everything perfect.